Hello friends, let us solve another problem based on standard penetration test. Read the question and understand the data. A standard penetration test conducted in the fine silty soil with saturation weight density 20 kN per meter cube and in dry condition Okay, 18 kN per meter cube at a depth of 6 meter. Okay, as a SPT value, so standard penetration test value 25. If you remember, for 300 mm, we have to consider that value. Find the final end value. If the depth of water table at the time of test was at 3 meter. So, so we are getting, they are already counted how much they are getting the value. A number of blows required for the 300 mm deflection, 25. But still, what is meant by a final value? That means we have to see whether any corrections are required or not. Why? Because I think by reading this problem, we can say that the corrections have to be applied. Why? Because it is conducted on the fine silty soil and the water table is present. So if you remember, if there is a water table present, if it is a fine silty soil, then we have to apply some corrections. Let us say this is what the ground surface and you are finding penetration test A and let us say the depth of the at this depth you are finding let us say 6 meter and at the time of test the water table was at the 3 meter level. That means your water table is here. That means from here to here. So, how we have to proceed? First, we have to assume it as the observed value. What is the observed value? N0. That will be given as 25. So, if you remember, how many corrections are there? We are having two corrections. One is overburden pressure and second one is pressure due to uh, correction due to water table. So let us see the first correction. Overburden correction. Overburden pressure correction. Can you recall the formula? What we had discussed. So the corrected value that will be equal to how much? 350 divided by sigma bar plus 70 into observed value n now. Now, what are the limitations of this method? If your overburden pressure, or sigma bar is nothing but a overburden pressure, if it is greater than 280, no correction required. No correction required. That means you can consider N1 is equal to N0. Now let us see what is meant by a overburden pressure here. Can you find out? That means at the test level, that means if you are conducting test here, what is the vertical pressure acting on this level? So that is because of the sulphate of the soil. So what is the sulphate of the soil? In this up to 3 meter, we are in dry state, dry condition. On uh, the next 3 meters, we are under the submerged condition. So here you have to take the dry unit weight and here you have to take the submerged. What is the submerged value? Gamma saturation minus gamma W. Gamma saturation given us how much? 20. W given us how much? 9.81. So what is the submerged value? That will be equal to 20 minus 9.81. You will get it as around 10.19 kilonewton per meter cube. So that's it. Total, what is the overburden pressure there? That means what is the vertical stress? 3. Dry value plus remaining 3. We have to consider the submerged value. Gamma dash. That will be equal to 3 into what is the dry unit weight? 18. Plus, what is the submerged unit weight we have found out? 10.19. So, if you solve this, we will get it around 84.57 kilonewton per meter square. Units are very, very important. This 280 is also in kilonewton per meter square. Okay. Now, it is less than the 280 or greater than the 280. I think it is less than the 280. That's why overburden pressure correction will be applied. So what is the final value? N1 will be equal to 350 divided by 
what is the sigma bar? Eighty-four point five plus seventeen into what is the observed value? Observed value is nothing but a twenty-five. That implies after the correction of power button pressure, what is the standard value we are getting? We are getting around five point one, fifty-six point six. So let us consider it as a nearly equal to fifty-seven. See, almost increased off of the value, isn't it? So this is the final value after the power button pressure. Next, consider the which pressure? Water table correction. Water table correction. So what is the final value? Final value nothing but n. That will be equal to fifteen plus half of n one minus fifteen. So again, if you remember. If n one is greater than fifteen, no need of any correction. No need of any correction. That is, you can directly take final n value as equal to n one. Now, whatever our n one value, sorry, it is not greater than fifteen. If your n one is less than fifteen, correction is not required. Whatever the n one value you are getting, fifty seven. If it is a fifty seven, then correction is not required. So that's it. Substitute in the given equation, fifteen plus one by two into what is n one we are getting, fifty seven minus fifteen. Okay, if you solve this, you will get your value around thirty six. So therefore, what is the final SPT value? The final SPT value that will be equal to thirty six. So you have to remember the conditions also. So over button, you can now you should not apply if your over button pressure is greater than two eighty kilonewton per meter square. And water table correction, you should not apply if your penetration value is coming less than fifty. Hope you guys understood. Thank you.